Hi, this is John McDermott, and I'd like to talk to you about shell short circuit operators. These use the doubled ampersand and doubled pipe characters to control command execution. Importantly, for this to work the way they do, they have to have equal precedence and thus be evaluated left to right. Now let's consider two cases. You want to execute one command only when another succeeds, or you want to execute one command only when another fails. We normally use these in scripts, but today we'll play with them on the command line. Now, for the first case, consider this. This will test to see whether or not var exists. The not negates the test. So this says, if var doesn't exist and we'll create it and put the word exists in it. Hmm, okay. Now, let's see. There's bar. Whoops. It exists. Good. Okay. Now the reason this works is because every command, whether it the double square bracket or echo or ls, returns a return code. Zero for success and anything other than zero for failure. We can demonstrate that with two commands, true which returned a zero for true and false which returns one for false. Likewise with echo, or ls rather, There's the success. How about notice there's an error too in this case because no such file doesn't exist. Now, we notice here in our current directory that there's var, redisoc, and salaries. So we can say if salaries exist, or, which means if the first one fails, We didn't see the message because salaries does exist. This could be useful in a script. Now, another thing we might do in a script is something a little more complicated. For example, if slash bar, whoops, if not exists slash bar, Then copy bar to slash bar. If that fails, print an error. Copy failed. Now you'll notice a few things about that. The first thing is that copy printed out a message. Now we can fix that and we'll see that in a minute. But this just tells us copy failed. Maybe that's a fatal problem for our script. So first, let's get rid of the message. You'll see why I'm doing it in this order in a second.
This sends copy's error message to the dev null, which is nowhere. You'll see the message, copy failed. The little py failed up above it there. That's the continuation from the actual command I typed in. Now, what if I want to say, that's a disaster. Let's end the program. So we'll go up here and we'll say, exit. Oh, one is too simple. Let's say exit seven. Ooh, look at that, it exited. And there's the exit code, seven. Yes, I started a subshell to make this work. Now, the technique of the echo and ampersand, we can keep doing that and stick more commands in a line so long as they all succeed. We know echo will succeed. We know exit will succeed. So that's okay here. Now, I hope this has helped you better understand the shells, short circuit operators, double vertical bar for or, and double ampersand for and. Thanks.